end of summer is a good time to go through solitary bee tubes if you have a bug hotel and you're trying to help out solitary bees and now's a good time to go through them because they really suffer from a couple of things two of them being fungus and parasites and unfortunately this year my leafcutter bees and mason bees and it seems to get worse every year have been heavily affected by a um, chalcid wasp and there is other parasites as well and what they do is they lay their egg in the nest chamber as well and it parasitizes the leafcutter bees and the mason bees and it's a real big problem they're a real threat to our solitary bees remember solitary bees such as leafcutter bees and mason bees are so important one of these bees could pollinate the equivalent of 80 honeybees honeybees have become the poster boy of, uh, of bees or girls as it were it's the girls that do the work with honeybees um, but actually they're the least important species of bee it's just by the pure fact that honeybees are farmed and that people can make money from it that it's more well known but actually solitary bees are more important and we hear in the news about this asian hornet that's a threat to honeybees whereas actually this chalcid wasp and other parasites is far bigger problem and here they are all their little maggots and you can see them in there eating the pollen because what um, a solitary bee does is she goes around and she collects on her belly so honeybees will collect in baskets on their arms whereas solitary bees tend to hold it on their on their chest they hold a load of pollen and that's why they're such good pollinators because they collect more pollen and they're more messy and they put a loaf of pollen into a chamber and then an egg and then they seal that chamber with either mud or with leaves or there's many other species there's hundreds of other species that have different methods some in the ground as well and that will hatch around this time of year and will feed on that loaf of pollen and then will go into a cocoon just like a butterfly when it goes into a cocoon and it emerges the following year but what's happening here is the maggots are getting in there and the chalcid wasp finds a weak spot within these chambers to get in there and lay and lay her eggs so i'm thinking about moving away from using these cardboard tubes i use these cardboard tubes because you can peel them off and get to these lovely little eggs and you can wash them in the soapy water and keep them safe for the new year but i'm going to move on to something more solid because this is becoming such a problem and this is why big bug hotels are a problem bug hotels are quite in the public eye at the moment but the big ones are much more vulnerable to parasites and fungus if if that gets into a big bug hotel it wipes them all out whereas if you've got lots of little bug hotels there's less chance of that which is why bee bricks are so good because there's lots of little bee bricks it's if a parasite gets into one bee brick hopefully the bee bricks elsewhere on the building will succeed so um small bug hotels are much more important and that's the issue i'm facing this year so i'm going to get very few um leaf cutter bees next year i'm getting less and less and just check out these little leaves where the leaf cutter bee has been working so hard to go out and cut all these individual leaves into little circles to perfectly fit these tubes it's an incredible amount of work the female queen she hatches she's mated upon by a male which dies shortly after and then she goes off and does all that work and then she dies so these young never meet their parents but they're genetically programmed with what to do uh solitary bees are incredible and i could literally talk about them all day i'm nearly up to four minutes on this video now talking about them they're so interesting and i absolutely love keeping solitary bees because they cannot sting they don't sting solitary bees only hive animals like um honeybees because the queen is the one that lays all the eggs all the other workers have adapted that egg laying tool into a sting and they've got a hive to protect so they sting but solitary bees don't solitary bees are so damn busy laying their eggs and pollinating that they're not interested in us so i've got two young girls and i have mason bees flying around i have leaf cutter bees flying around and some years i keep bumblebees and they're not a problem to my kids they're just fascination education and inspiration having them around and of course helping the environment so yeah quite an in-depth one here when you get deep into bees it's a very interesting subject and i'm suffering here from chalcid wasps and it's really frustrating but i'm trying to do my bit so yeah i hope you enjoyed that um it's a long one but it's an interesting one cheers guys be wild